quarter of a mile, merge onto M4. this by the way no one are you a swing voter are you, are you a labor lib dem 
Tory, you would have you would have gone for Rishi. Um, I mean, because Liz, 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 Liz is Liz is radical right. Well, she's painting herself as that. I think. I am, we're, you I know. Am, yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely not a Tory, but I can listen to her have things with some distance and mm. just listen to the fact he's super intelligent. Mm. Sorry, but she lacks total intelligence. They talk about charisma. Um, she hasn't really hasn't got any. She's not witty. She's not Boris Johnson. She's not very intelligent. There's a stalled vehicle ahead. Say she's got no intelligence, but I because I mean, she's won the race, so that's required some serious political skill. But I absolutely agree with you. I think her performances are very wooden, although they have got better. But she's like selling herself as this like tough sort of no person. And I think she's trying to make the best of this wooden character by I'm going to be this really tough person that just sort of stands up for everybody. I think two years of that is going to drive us all insane. Thank you for your comments, Geraldine. We'll come to more of your calls, texts, and tweets very shortly. You're listening to Emily Sheffield on LBC. The time is 6.46. LBC At TDC Implant Centres We can give you full mouth dental implants In just one day I could feel my teeth were loosening They didn't feel as secure We gave Tony dental implants and natural looking fixed teeth I walked in at 9.30 with problems And I walked out at 5.30 with a full set of teeth Around three months later We exchanged his fixed teeth For his final permanent set What drew me to this was the fact that it could be done In a day To discover that that was possible was a revelation Book your consultation Visit smileinaday.co.uk or call TDC Holly Street on 0203 7334 986. In two miles, a junction 4B, exit towards M3, M23. Get BT's unbreakable hybrid broadband backed up by EE, the UK's best network. Search BT Hybrid Broadband. 88% UK availability. 4G connection takes up to 175 seconds. Best for mobile network performance. Verify at ee.co.uk forward slash claims. Hey, it's time to wake up and smell the VAT returns. What? From April, making tax digital applies to businesses with a turnover of under 85k. That means you. Oh. And paper records ain't going to cut it this time. You have to keep digital records using software like QuickBooks. But don't worry, we've made it easier than ever. Yeah. Make tax digital with QuickBooks. Whoa, did you see that? She just unfolded her Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I didn't know you could have hands-free video calls on a phone and paint a beautiful self-portrait at the same time. And now she's taking selfies while doing her nails. <gasps> That's mad. Hands-free video calls and photos with the Galaxy Z Flip 4. A serious flex. Buy yours at Samsung.com and get a guaranteed £250 off when you trade any smartphone in any condition. Purchased by 31st of October. Your old phone for trading required. T's and C's apply. Emily Sheffield on LBC. Call 0345 606093. Good evening. You're listening to Emily Sheffield on LBC. To your calls now. Johnny has called from Guildford. Johnny, what are your thoughts? Will trust even make it to the next election? Look, I don't know what Geraldine was thinking. In a quarter of a mile, a junction 4B, exit towards M3, M23. No, well, I did, I did say I didn't think she was thick. I did I mean, think that her performances Starmer. are a bit wooden. I think she was right on the charisma thing, so... And Starmer. Well... Both of them are a bit, a bit started off a bit wooden. He's got better. Not... Exit at Junction 4B, then keep right at the fork. Keep voice, that would be a stupid idea. Yes, well, I, I like to hear, I like, I, I like to hear that. Johnny, because I do think we've become we've become hooked on entertainment, but we do need some charisma, don't we? I mean, Tony Blair had it. I think Cameron had it. Margaret Thatcher. You know, they were good public speakers. It doesn't matter. Keep what right at the fork. Naturally, better public speakers. Mm. But look, when you go for a job and the boss interviews you, you don't say, "This guy doesn't." Continue on M25 South for one and a half miles. It's about integrity. No, but you do sort of have to charm them as well, don't you? They've got to think, Look, you know, this person's yes, going to fit in in the office. They're going to get on with everyone. I mean, I suppose right. it, it's a it depends it's, on the role, if, right? If you're not a great orator, it's a weakness. Mm. But the, the next two years, a long time, and, and, it's, and it's a time when there's going to be huge economic hardship. And uh, trust uh, might... I think mean, anyone would have very great difficulty being an effective Prime Minister in the next two years if she proves 
to be effective. Mm. Two years is a long way away, but Starmer is definitely an export, and that's coming from a swim motor. So I'm, I'm, if you look at what I wrote here, I'm, I'm a Tory motor, yeah. not voting for Blair. Junction 14, use the left two lanes to take the A3113 exit to Heathrow Airport. Use the left two lanes to exit at Junction 14, then keep right. Well, she is going to be our Prime Minister's own, what do you think? I mean, unless there's some... Keep right. Exit onto Airport Way A3113. Slap her down. And he, he had to slap her down over Macron, actually, because he is still Prime Minister until Monday, so he, he is able to do that. But are you. What do you think about Labour? What do you think about Keir? I mean, the economy is falling apart, there's a crisis in public services, the government is divided, tearing strips out of each other. This does seem to be going for a sort of radical right. Which I'm, 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 I'm deeply concerned how that's going to win over the swing, the much-needed swing voters in the in the in the southeast. But is well, Labour appealing to you? I mean, would you normally vote Labour? I mean, if you don't mind me no, saying. I, I mean, I'll be honest. I, mean, I, I was a card-carrying, not anymore Lib Dem member. I've always voted Labour. I just mm. speak on the London Mayor. I, I would have voted for David Cameron because I like his brand of conservatism. I would. I think we need a change of government, but I, I do think that if Labour come in, it's not going to be a walk in the park. In some ways, it might be a important challenge in the same way as. Brexit was for Theresa May inheriting this because the reality is we need to tax people more, right? We can talk about tax cuts and gas components, but you go to Europe, I've been in Europe the last few weeks for work, you know, they don't have an end, they're not talking about care homes being short of electricity or subsidised public transport, yeah, they've got the same problems of staff and health issues, but they are, they are facing similar problems, but they are addressing it with leadership and a vision which this country doesn't have, and I'm not seeing enough from the Labour Party about But are you arguing that we In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Southern Perimeter Road. In, ...in 77 years, and, and I think that's what's won it, it is, with the membership. She's immediately going to reverse the national insurance, um, our national insurance, um, rise in tax. Um, and I do think a lot of people sort of sit around saying, gosh, I'm being sort of taxed to death. Um, but... In other countries, it's true they do have a much higher tax level. But is that is that really going to win votes at the next election? Well, let, let's say this for examples, right? Can you give an example? You know, do you think there's people in France riding around on buses all day to keep you know, to keep warm? Now, a guy in the news from Cornwall, you know, who was in his seventies or eighties, seventeen hours for an ambulance. No, no. I do think we have gone back to ninety-seven. Well, public services. Have Exit the roundabout onto Southern Perimeter Road. In 300 yards, at Western Perimeter Road roundabout, take the second exit and stay on Southern Perimeter Road. ...for seeing your doctor. You don't if you, you, don't if you can't afford it. Obviously, that, that's, you know, it's, it's seen on what you're earning. But we have got this colossal mammoth NHS to pay for, social care rising. No politician... Exit the roundabout onto Southern Perimeter Road. Continue on Southern Perimeter Road for one and a half miles. Sorry, not all our taxes. A big, the biggest chunk of them is going on the NHS. There, there, is, there is no doubt that needs reforming, but also we need a much better job on public health and some mental health problems paid for ground when I was about to, you know, be sectioned. And let's be honest, that's very true about what mm. you said. But also, you also need to think about the waste that this government has incurred, right? We've supposedly got no money. We've, we've, we've basically spanked away 120 million on a... The festival of Brexit where no one turned up. I know. That, that was the <laughs> <laughs> That I was literally...
actually horrified when I read that. Well, but weren't you? I mean, I'm glad these communities got to build these lovely exhibitions, but God, that was a lot of money. It's over, it's 30, 37 bills on test and trace, the COVID fraud. Why are we not prosecuting every single one of those people? The, the member of the House of Lords that are now being investigated for the dodgy PP contracts. We, we didn't have enough money for Hammersmith. Basically, we found a billion quid for a tunnel up to the edge. Seriously, the, the government is frittering away money like there is no tomorrow. Add it all up, it might seem like small sums, mm. and it comes to a pretty big sum over the last couple but of years. But do you think Labour, do you think Labour will do a better job of looking after the, uh, of the taxpayers' purse? <laughs> it's Emily, sorry. And you're Emily, Kim. Sorry. Are we get, yes. we're getting the names right? Great, thank you. So, <laughs> Kim, what makes a good leader? Who, 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 yeah, where yeah, are your thoughts funny. on Liz Truss yeah. and, and Keir Starmer? Yeah, yeah. so the, the big problem for me is we're kind of we're focusing on generally charisma and stuff. I think that's nothing to do with it now. I think we need somebody who's got nurses extra crisis. We're talking about the next election which won't cost me for another three years, okay? In the immediacy, we have somebody who really, I don't feel, in terms of Liz Truss, has found fiscal knowledge to get us through a crisis. Do you think some of the, the plans she's been c coming up with just don't add up at all? I think they're ropey. I mean, yeah, mm. OK, the chat... Take the third exit onto Beacon Road. roundabout onto Beacon Road. In 100 yards, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Stanwell Road. Exit the roundabout onto Stanwell Road. In half a mile, turn right onto Great Southwest Road, A30. onto Great Southwest Road A30.
of this fella. An ultimatum from Sadiq Khan. Former Met Chief Superintendent Donald Babu is surprised by that. I find it laughable that uh, Cresta Dick was intimidated by having to go and see the mayor who was asking her why the Met was in such a mess. She's a hostage negotiator, firearms commander. It just seems bizarre. The mayor says the report isn't based on facts. The G7 group of wealthiest countries, which includes the UK nations, agreed to impose a price cap on Russian oil is to try to limit funding for President Putin's war in Ukraine. Voting in the Conservative leadership contest has ended, with the party's next leader to be announced on Monday. Either Liz Truss or Rishi Sunak will make the trip to Scotland on Tuesday to be appointed Prime Minister. In a quarter of a mile, a clockhouse roundabout, take the first exit onto Staines Road A315. The GMB, Unite and Unison. In 200 yards, turn left onto Hatton Road. The employers. The dispute's seen rubbish pile up in some areas and more walkouts have been planned next week. Eight people have been arrested after climate change activists targeted Parliament. Three protesters posing as tourists superglued themselves around the Speaker's chair in the House of Commons. Turn left onto Hatton Road. ...to railings. One of them, Sammy, explained why. There are so many opinions around climate, about whether do we do nuclear, do we do onshore, offshore. There's so many decisions to be made, but we're never going to make any of those decisions until we as a country decide to act. And at the moment, the block to that action is the politicians. Inform England batsman Johnny Bairstow has been ruled out of the T20 Cricket World Cup because of injury. He suffered what's been called a freak accident to a lower limb while playing golf. The issue will also keep him out for the final test against South Africa. Turn left onto Staines Road, A315. Replacement. In the city, the FTSE 100 closed up 133 points at 72.81. The pound buys $1.16 and €1.16. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Staines Road, A315. Of 12 degrees. Drying in the northeast and the southeast tomorrow, otherwise it's rain or showers and a high of 24 degrees. From Global's Newsroom, for LBC, I'm Tim Humphrey. This is LBC from Global, leading Britain's conversation with Emily Sheffield. It's Emily Sheffield and you're listening to LBC. Coming up in this hour... What are the crime priorities you need fixing in your area? Today a furious row broke out because there's a report come accusing Sadiq Khan of acting